I was a closet singer. No one knew I sang except my mother and father. And my father wasn't a big fan, I have to say. growing up in Chicago. The neighborhood that I lived in was a lower middle class neighborhood. I slept in uh, the dining room till I was 14 years old. It was a very volatile household. And consequently, I spent a lot of time on the streets. Singing was a way for me to release what was locked up inside of me. So. It wasn't that I liked to sing, it was that I had to sing. And fortunately, I found that root, you know, very young in life. And that's when Sergio Mendes played at Mother Blues. <laughs> I had no experience whatsoever, and to be a part of that, just to be validated actually as a singer by him, was beyond anything I could have imagined. And then Herb asked me to leave the group because we were a couple, and you can't have a relationship if you're not there. And the Grammy goes to... You, Lonnie Hall. <laughs> and always my loving thanks to my beautiful husband, Herb Alpert. The Grammy was an exit from one life to another. I was sick for a long time. Turned out there was nothing they could do. And I just couldn't accept that. I couldn't accept there was nothing I could do to feel better. So that was my beginning, the beginning of my journey in bed writing longhand. I was talking to my manager at the time and, you know, just to kill time, he started asking me about my childhood and I told him this story. And he said, you should write that. You should make a, you should write that down. That's a good story. The book is of 10 short stories, seven fiction, three nonfiction. It is a running narrative of a memoir. A lot of my protagonists are women who are searching for their identity. What happens to you when you get lost? And how do you find yourself? And since you're constantly changing as a human being, what defines you at any given time in your life? The name of the book is Emotional Memoirs and Short Stories.